when sewing with heavy fabrics, it's a good idea to wear a pair of safety glasses because needles can break. So to begin, we're going to teach you about the straight stitch. This is the most common stitch you use with the sewing machine. It's stitch B, so if you turn the selector to B, and with an average weight fabric, it helps to use a stitch distance of three. The fabric is placed in the machine under the foot. The foot is then lowered onto the fabric. To begin a stitch, slowly take several stitches forward, press the reverse, and take several back. This ensures that the thread is locked in place and won't unravel. You can then continue the stitches forward. Maintain tension on the fabric, otherwise it can bunch under the foot. You don't want to pull too hard, just keep it taut. It will feed through on its own. When you reach the end, back stitch several stitches again. Make sure the needle is up, then lift the foot. Gently tug the fabric out and snip off the threads. Be sure to leave adequate threads coming from both the bobbin and the needle, otherwise they'll pull back through when you start your second stitch. And that's how to do the basic straight stitch. Now. To do the zigzag stitch, which can be used as a reinforcement stitch or a stitch in, in stretchy fabrics, you'll need to turn the selector to D. You'll notice there's a gradient leading up to D. This selects the width of the zigzag. Depending on whether you're using a reinforcement stitch or simply stitching in stretchy fabrics, you'll want to change the distance selector. A three would be if you're simply stitching together two stretchy fabrics. Down to a one and a half and lower would be used as a reinforcement. We'll stitch it at a three as if we're using a stretchy fabric. The rest is simply the same as the straight stitch. Place the fabric under, drop the foot, stitch several forward, and then reverse. Then continue your stitch. As you near the end, reverse the stitch once more. Advance the needle so it's up. Release the foot. Pull out. And snip the threads. And that's the zigzag stitch. When you're stitching, you may break a needle or the needle became, may become dull and you'll need to change it. Two of the most common needles used in these fabrics are size 16 and 18. On the package you'll often see 100 or 110 slash 16 or as in these needles 110 slash 18. The larger size 18 is for fabrics that are thicker and also threads that are thicker. The two sizes, 16 and 18, denote the di diameter of the hole. And so a larger hole for larger fabrics and larger threads, smaller hole for smaller fabrics and smaller threads. To replace the needle, loosen the black thumb screw. Then gently pull down on the needle and it'll fall out. Then you can take your new needle and you'll note every needle has round sides except for one side which is flat. That flat side goes towards the back of the machine. You'll insert the needle with the flat part facing the back and then retighten that thumb screw. Make sure the needle is all the way up until it hits the stopper before you tighten the thumb screw otherwise it can strike the bottom of the bobbin case. Tighten the thumb screw 
taut, but you shouldn't have to go any more than hand tight. One of the common problems encountered while stitching is that the stitch will be loose on the underside of the fabric. So this was stitched through the machine from this side and when turned over you can feel and see the top thread sticking down too far. This is caused by not having enough tension on the machine. Simply spin your tension dial and test several pieces until the, fa the threads are evenly on both sides of the fabric, neither side sticking, too, sticking through too far. Another common problem is that when the foot is released and the fabric is tugged up, it, the fabric won't pull out and you can see several threads. A common fix to this is to simply rock the flywheel back and forth and this allows the threads to release properly and pull out. Another problem you might encounter is that the thread coming through the needle begins to cut itself on the needle. This problem is often, often occurs because your needle hole is too small for the size thread or fabric you're using and you should change your needle to a larger size.